Topic 2 Equation Inequalities and Absolute Values Subtopic 2.3 Absolute Values Lecture 3 of 4 Part 3 In this session, our objective to solve absolute inequalities of the form absolute value ax plus b more than cx plus d. Okay, now we try to understand about the absolute value of inequalities. Let's re review this video. Today's tutorial is going to be about absolute value inequalities. So, when you're dealing with an absolute value, you need to know that the absolute value of a function is the distance to zero. That's right. The question is asking you how far away from zero are you? And that answer is always going to be one of two things. It's either going to be zero or a positive value. So depending on the direction you're coming from, whether you're starting out at a negative value or you're starting out at a positive value, your distance can be the exact same. And for that reason, you may end up having to solve more than one equation or inequality in this case in order to solve your problem. So please keep these things in mind. When you're dealing with an absolute value and you have a greater than or greater than or equal to symbol, you're dealing with an or situation. That's right, you're dealing with a union. All right, and here's the symbol for union, by the way, that big U right there. So that means you'll need to combine your solutions for your final result. And then when your absolute value is set to a less than symbol or a less than or equal to symbol, you'll be dealing with an and scenario. And that simply means that you're looking for the solutions that overlap. All right. So in other words, what they have in common. So these are the four things that you need to keep in mind when dealing with your absolute value inequality. I hope that video make all of you more understand regard this topic. Now we move on to how to interpret in a number line. First one. Absolute value x less than e is equivalent to x more than negative a less than a. This is first notation you can write down. Or for the second one is x less than a and x more than negative a. So this is the number line you can interpret from the above absolute value inequalities. This number line have a negative a, 0 and a. So to draw a number line, you just put empty circle on a and on negative a and try to put one straight line joining between of them. Next, absolute x less than equal a is equivalent to x more than equal a less than equal b. This is first notation. For the second notation, you can write down like this. x less than equal a and x more than equal negative a. The number line have a negative a until a. So to draw a number line for this situation, you put full circle on a and on negative a and try to draw a straight line joining between of them. The third one, absolute value x more than a is equivalent to x more than a or x less than negative a. Because the sign is more, so we try to use or. Or you can put union. When x more than a, so you can put the empty circle and you put the straight line go to the right. Next, you put empty circle on the negative A and go to the left. Number four, absolute X more than equal A is equivalent to X more than equal A or X less than equal A. So for the number line here, we must put full circle on A and the arrow go to the right. Same like for the negative A, put full circle and the arrow go to the left. This is how to write down 
or interpret the number line refer to the absolute value inequalities. There are two methods in solving absolute value inequalities. First, basic definition. Second, squaring both sides. Example 2. Solve the following inequalities. Absolute value 2x plus 3 less than 5. B. Absolute x minus 1 less than equal 4. For the solution, question A. Firstly, for the first notation, you can write down like this. 2x plus 3 less than 5 more than equal negative 5. Then, we try to separate between of them. We can go like this. 2x plus 3 less than 5 and 2x plus 3 more than negative 5. Then, we try to simplify. Bring 3 to the right hand side. Then, after lastly, you simplify got x less than 1 on the left hand side. For the right hand side, we simplify until you got x more than negative 4. And actually, the sign is intersection. The intersection is overlapping between the two interval here. So, to draw a number line, we try to draw a one straight line and put the value negative 4 and 1. Then, we try to draw for the first interval x less than 1 put a circle on the number 1 and draw one straight line to the left for second interval put empty circle on the negative 4 then try to draw one straight line go to the right so what you want to do between two interval here you want to do intersection so the intersection is actually the overlapping between two interval. Therefore, for the final answer, we can say that x is more than negative 4, less than 1. Next, for b, absolute value x minus 1 less than equal 4, x minus 1 more than equal negative 4, less than equal 4. This is first notation after you do after you using the basic definition. We can write down x minus 1 less than equal 4 and x minus 1 more than equal negative 4. x less than equal 5 after simplified and on the right hand side x more than equal negative 3. So we want to do intersection between interval 1 and interval 2. So, we want to do the overlapping between the solution. So, try to draw a one number line and put the value negative 3 on the left, 5 on the right. So, for the first interval, x less than equal 5, put full circle on the 5 and draw one straight line to the left. For the second interval, put full circle on the negative 3 and try to draw a straight line go to the right. So now you want to do N. N is a intersection. So the intersection is the overlapping between interval 1 and interval 2. So this is the shaded region between and include negative 3, 5. So therefore the solution is x more than equal negative 3 less than equal 5. This is the solution set. The example 3, solve absolute value 4x plus 1 more than, more than 2x minus 5. As we know, the absolute value x more than a if and only if x more than a or x less than negative a. Solution for 3a, absolute for x plus 1 more than 2x minus 5. So firstly, we try to, using the basic definition, 4x plus 1 more than 2x minus 5, or 4x plus 1 less than negative 2x minus 5. So for the left hand side, we try to simplify 
bring 2x to the left, you can got 4x minus 2 got 2x. And plus 1 bring to the right, lastly you simplify got 2x more than negative 6. And lastly x more than negative 3. For this part, the negative we try to expand. So you can got 4x plus 1 less than negative 2x plus 5. Therefore, you simplify, bring negative 2 to the left, got 6x less than 4. Lastly, got x less than 2 over 3. So now what you want to do is, we want to do the union between the two interval. So, x more negative 3 union to x less than 2 over 3. What you want to do, we try to combine the final solution. So, we, we try to draw a one straight line, put the value negative 3 on the left and, three, and 2 over 3 on the right. Then, we can start for the first interval when x more than negative 3. So, try to draw empty circle on 3 and put uh, one straight line go to the right. Next, for the second interval, x less than 2 over 3. Then, put empty circle on 2 over 3 and draw a one straight line go to the left. So you want to do union. For the union, we try to take all part because we just combine the final answer. Therefore, the final answer for this question is x element of r. Meaning of x element of r, if you want to write down in the interval notation, is open interval negative infinity to positive infinity. Okay, thank you. That's all for today. Bye.